was the determination of a man who had always put his life on the line for a country. A man who, when things were dark, decided to step in and put an end to one party dictatorship. The man who, when he realized that uh, peace and democracy were the option for us, decided to put aside his personal ambition and he put the interest of the country first. And when we went around the country, sometimes in very difficult circumstances, remember that I was the campaign chairman. <laughs> The one thing he always said was, it's not about us. It's about people who are living in these villages without light. It's about the children, especially the young girls so. who are not going to school. We went around the country and I can tell you that sometimes we drive from the north to the south and we we'll see that 80 to 90% of the country was in complete darkness. No source of reliable power. And one morning we were driving from Kabala, trying to get to Bo, and I was going to get to Kenema that same day, cross and go to Liberia and Guinea to get voters. We saw young girls walking barefooted at the morning hours. And the question I asked him was, well, if they are going to school, where is the school? And we drove one mile and two miles and three miles and four miles. That should tell you the existential challenges our people were facing at the time, and still continue to face, by the way. In effect, we looked around, we saw that uh, the country needed real leadership. And retired Brigadier Jilos Madabio symbolized that hope. And I decided that we are going to march together from the north to the south, the east to the west, leaving no village, no town behind, no district behind, no children behind, to make a competitive peace for our people. And the people heard us loud and clear. We won. But winning is just the first paragraph, not even the first chapter. Because governance is where you have to show your character. Governance is where you have to let the people know that you meant everything you told them. That as we move from court barry to court barry, promising them that we're going to have free quality education, we meant it. That we are going to provide disciplined leadership. We are going to have a robust foreign policy that will finally put Sierra Leone on the world map as a responsible state actor. That we are going to fix the healthcare sector. We are going to make sure that we focus on managing our resources in order to lift our people out of poverty. That is promising. And so the very first day we won, we started thinking about the content of the manifesto, the people's manifesto. And in that manifesto, we had a blueprint <clears throat> about how we are going to move the country forward. And we are determined to make it happen. And so the first thing we did was to make sure that uh, we blocked all the major leakages. All the major leakages. Executive order number one was simply about making sure that we maximize domestic revenue mobilization to support the priorities of government. And as a result of executive order number one, within three weeks, we raised enough domestic revenue to pay the salaries of public sector workers without resorting to borrowing for the first time. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody got paid Amazing. without borrowing. And I remember going to Washington, D.C. to engage with the World Bank and IMF to give them confidence that we're different and that we're, we're determined. At that spring meeting, we engaged all the key decision makers. One thing they said was, you seem to have a sense of where you want to go. We are going to work with you. We have no money for you right now. But we are going to work with you. And so we left, not empty-handed, we left with the hope that for the first time in years, the IMF and the World Bank would listen to us. <laughs> and so I returned with uh, the Minister of uh, Finance, JJ Safa, and we went to work. He provided strong leadership in the Minister of Finance. We made sure that uh, we were very serious about domestic revenue mobilization. 
And we were very clear about what we wanted to do. And I can tell you that a few months later, the IMF came in with their program, and for the first time, we are part of the IMF program now, and we're receiving funding from the World Bank, and so we have the sense now that we have the support of the international financial system, because they know that when we say we're going to do it, we'll do it, the money will go where it's supposed to go. That is leadership. But one thing was very clear to us, everywhere we went during the campaign, in the villages, from Cotbury to Cotbury, the one line that always received the loudest applause was this. We will launch free quality education across the country. And everybody thought that was not possible. You had that. Where's the money? You don't know that. You can't figure out the money. It's not possible. It's just a campaign rhetoric. But I can tell you that uh, in less than six months in governance, we have launched free quality education in Sierra Leone. We have not actually want to give us the money. If you want to do the right thing by the people, you don't wait for others to do it for you. Sure. You roll up your sleeve and do it. Sure. We have what it takes to put Sierra Leone on the right path. Sure. And we demonstrated 